Where are you going? Um, I'm gonna go over to the hotel early and just get ready there and sort of pamper I'm myself. Have one of my men go with you because there might be some blowback from the Puerto Rico trip, and I want you safe. You're so cute. You worry too much. It's gonna be fine. But I hope you know how grateful I am for this party. And if you come early to the suite, I'll show you just how grateful I can be. I'd love to, but I'm gonna be swamped. I didn't. I thought I would have more time. The storm just. Killed all that. Well, I hope it doesn't kill my party tonight. It better not. It's a really <laughs> big night for me. I have a feeling tonight is going to change both of our lives. How exactly is your birthday party going to change my life? <laughs> it's, not, it's just, I don't know, a feeling. Something in the air, maybe. And I don't mean the storm. Uh, uh. Um, maybe I have a little... I don't know, I just... Uh, it's the way that you want everyone to see how we're together now. Mm. It's you and me. And maybe I have a little secret for you, mm. too. Oh, OK, you just, you just have to wait on that one, please, and be patient. I think that you're going to be very happy, although one never knows with you. OK, but if you are pregnant, it would, I'd like to know that, like, right now. I'm not pregnant. And you're just gonna have to wait for the rest. I'm just being very cryptic. Oh, look at you! My goodness! It's not easy when it's someone else's secret, is it? All right. You know how you trusted me in Puerto Rico. So I want you to trust me now. That's all. And... I just, I don't know, I want this party to be memorable for all of us. Okay? John, call me, leave me an urgent message, and then not answer his cell phone. What was the message? Oh, he said that I needed to call him the minute I landed, and then I just keep getting his voicemail. We need John, he's an irresponsible kid. You know that, as you've seen it a million times. He's not when it comes to me, Sonny. Come on. I got an idea. Call him at Olivia's and see how urgent it really was. I'm sure it wasn't that urgent. Come on, really? It's just... Hey, welcome home. Take it the trip was a success. Thanks to Claudia. So I've decided to throw her a birthday bash at the Metro Court. Ah, so I hear happy birthday. Thank you. Have you seen my brother? Can't say that I have. Uh, what do you want me tonight, boss? I want you to make sure she gets to the uh, hotel without incident. Okay, I'll uh, find Max and Miles. Did you didn't hear what I said? I said I'm counting on you to make sure you, she gets to the hotel inside her room safely. Is Carly all right? That's all I want to know. No thanks to you and this ridiculous party you decided to throw tonight. Well, you know what, Jax? The, most of the uh, guests are business associates and friends, so if you want to come by and give the birthday girl a kiss on the cheek, you're very welcome to do that. I got a better idea. Yeah, what's that? Cancel it. Why would I do that? Do you ever see beyond your own ego? I mean, come on, Carly's in her last trimester, okay? Wait till after the baby's born, then you can throw all the parties you want, and I'll make sure that the hotel gives you a special discount. How about so that? somehow, in your warped mind, Jax, this party is bad for Carly? You called her to organize this, Sonny, okay? She took it upon herself to do all the planning when she should be resting. If you can't control your own wife, that's your problem. I'm not gonna let you jeopardize her health, you understand? She's not stressed out. She finds this whole thing entertaining. And, and by the way, I'm not getting the family and friends rate. She's charging me through the roof, and I'm letting her. You think I care about the money? I care about Carly's life and our little girls. And if anything happens to them because of your selfishness or your psychotic wife, I will do what I should have done years ago. Yeah. What are you gonna do? I'll kill you myself. Claudia is safely in her hotel room. Why don't you go ahead and uh, get dressed? Me? Yeah. I expect you at the party. Well, you want me to do security with Max and Miles? Well, you're a little more articulate than the Jim Betty brothers, and I want you at the party to make sure, you know, everything goes smoothly and you welcome the guests. Oh, <laughs> you want me to play host? <laughs> no, I'm asking you to, to be useful. Think you can do that? Listen, I got a lot of old friends coming business associates, I'm not sure if they if they mingle comfortably. So what I want you to do is be there, make sure they have a good time, act as my representative. 
I'm, I'm honored. Uh, but I, I do have to point out that okay, they're well, volatile right now. And Dominic, if it's too hot for you, there's the door. Leave. Oh, wait a minute. You, you just wanted me to host your party. No, I'm, I'm giving... Me listen, I'm, I'm just te I'm giving you a choice. Look, I owe, I owe you, right? No. For saving Morgan's life. But you told me yourself, you, you, you know, it was volatile, so if you don't want to risk your life, go. Tony, I'm not bailing. In fact, just the opposite, I want to show you how good I can be. Glad to hear it. I'll make sure everything is running smoothly. Okay, I'll see you at the party. Oh, you know what? We're going to be a little late, Claudia and I. Okay? I'm on my way to Jason's. Sorry, sorry, the storm screwed up my whole schedule. This won't take long. You know what? Can we just talk at the party? Because I know. What do you. I know you hate Claudia. What are you doing? You need to listen to this. No, I don't want. What are we. Bodyguards. No, the custom inspectors will be here so he can sign off on it in person. He 